New tonight, European tourists hoping for a pleasant stay in Brooklyn got anything but that. Their Airbnb rental turned out to be not what was advertised and may have exposed a bigger problem. CBS 2's Tracy Carrasco has more on this case of renter's remorse. Their dream vacation to New York City turned into a nightmare. These three women who didn't want to be named visiting from Germany and Switzerland booked what they thought was the perfect apartment in Williamsburg, Brooklyn, from this ad posted on Airbnb. But when they checked in Monday night, we just expected like a normal apartment, which looked clean and it was like nice and cozy. These pictures show the dirty conditions, and worse, they weren't the only ones staying there. And we thought we have a single apartment, like just for us. And yeah, we had like this lady in there. The women left and spent the night in the building's community center. And on Tuesday, they found out the truth about their Airbnb rental, exposing a much bigger issue. The apartment at 541 White Avenue is government subsidized housing for middle income residents, which makes it illegal to list on websites like Airbnb. The Department of Housing Preservation and Development, which supervises these types of apartments, would only tell us we prohibit subletting and will open an investigation into this allegation of misuse. But in a July 2015 memo, HPD acknowledged that there is a growing market in temporary apartment rentals. Isaac Abraham from the Tenants Association of Kent Village says there's no enforcement. I've seen in this building uh, and in many others. Uh, People walk in with carry-ons that I know that don't belong here. New York State Assembly member Linda Rosenthal leads the charge against illegal Airbnb rentals and says this should have never happened. An apartment like that should be rented out to someone who's a New York resident. Airbnb needs to better police its website. Airbnb tells us this specific renter has been a host for four years and it will take action for similar complaints, but no mention of the apartment being an illegal listing. Tracy Carrasco, CBS 2 News.